Hey folks, this is a midweek shave. Today's soap. Cannot pronounce any of this, so I'll just show it to you. This is a... You see how big the tub is. Comes with a... Comes with a top lid. It is filled to the top. That is eight... 0.4 ounces of soap that's put in this container. It is packed. So if you're looking at something like this, that's the reason why it might be a little bit more expensive than the others. It's because you're getting over 8 ounces of soap that's just packed in there. Got the aftershave. And let's see if we can get that in there. There it shows the uh, the notes. I think that's pretty cool. The scent on this is, is really nice. I've already put a hot towel to the face. The Bloom Water Shave that I'm going to be using today. <coughs> Crown King. I have a half blade Permasharp in there. As you can see, it's a... Uh, it's a pretty good size shavette. My witch hazel. Humphreys. And of course my trusty Allen bar. Complete with rubber band. I'll go ahead and wet the face here. They shorten up the I noticed a number of times when you see this uh Soap advertised the makers TFS. Matter of fact, I believe um, the uh, gentleman that first started this, his first name is Walter, if I remember correctly. At any rate, he uh, was a immigrant. Went to Italy. There's a history of how this uh, soap maker got started. If I remember correctly, I think it's his granddaughter that's uh, running the show or something of the sort. In other words, still in the family business. I think the company was established in 1945. This is their 70th anniversary soap, which was uh, back in 2015, if I remember right. You do the math. Brush of the day's horsehair. And I've got it all whipped up in my wooden bowl here. Walnut and cherry. Came by the way of uh, the sting the stingers goat on Etsy. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get ready for pass number one with the grain. Got a little bit of weather last night here in Oklahoma, where I'm at. The uh, <laughs> rain came through. Got the kids all excited. I think they were more excited about the fact that they don't have to go to school tomorrow. Permasharp is a, uh, at least for me, is a pretty decent half blade to be using in a number of these shavettes. Half blade meaning that they're already pre-cut so you don't have to snap them in half and 
you know, it has the ends kind of bent one way or the other. So it smells pretty good. I can still smell it. Sometimes, you know, when I whip up a soap, you know, you might smell it after you're done putting it on your face. This one here I can. It seems to be pretty creamy. This is the first time I've ever used it. Going back over the <clears throat> more or less the same spot. It's got plenty of slickness. Not that slickness is not important when you're using a uh, DE razor, but to me it's even more important when you're shaving with a straight razor. You gotta have that glide. good stuff. Over 8 ounces of it, so I'm going to have it for a while. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I might run out of the aftershave before I run out of the soap. Alright. Get ready for pass number 2 here. This is a pretty smooth shave. That is one thing about shaving with the, the shave head. Generally, I uh, with a DE blade or even a single edge, I usually end up doing the three pass shave, and usually two or two and a half is all I need on a on a shave head. That's a lot of a lot of shaving cream loaded up in that brush. For me, a horsehair brush, they're, in my opinion, compared to a badger, they're relatively inexpensive. In other words, you can get a number of these horsehair brushes for $20 or less. And some think, or they feel like that the uh, brush is pokey. Uh, for me, there's, I don't, in other words, <laughs> it doesn't even compare to a to, a bore brush when you first get it. And it's got enough backbone that I don't have any problem lathering the soap up. So for me, I kind of like them. And you see, this cream is just awesome. It didn't take very long for it to get whipped up in that bowl. Pass number two against the green. I have my eye on about two more horsehair brushes I'd like to get. More to do with the handles. I do prefer to uh, get my horsehair brushes, um, I guess you might say unbleached. Have a natural bristle, however it turns out, that's the way I prefer it. This uh, shave app, this if this is the first time you've seen one like this, 
yeah, that is pretty good size shave head. Not only takes half blades, but full DE blades. And it does have a little bit of weight behind it. For me, that seems to work better for me with the, uh, I guess you might say, the beard that I have. Some of you don't have a beard that's very thick. This might be a, a bit much for you. For me, it works out well. I have gotten better at shaving with uh, shavettes that are lighter. Not my preferred uh, <laughs> shavette. I prefer some that have a little bit of weight behind them. But um, this one here works well for me. That is one thing for for a good part of the shavettes if you um, try and experiment find the shavette that works well for you mm, these sort of shavettes are what I would call inexpensive when you compare to like a feather in other words you pay roughly anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars for a shavette and it doesn't work for you it's not a whole lot of money that you've invested in it and you could always resell it Me, myself, if I had um, hmm, had been so concerned about getting a uh, shavette, and I may or may not like that shavette, uh, I would have went with the feather right, right from the start anyway. But I do enjoy the different experiences that you get from using different shavettes. The experience you get, not not just the experience, in other words, the face feel when you're shaving, but the fact that you've learned how to shave with different shavettes, uh, to me that experience uh, can't be replaced. Nothing like how, <laughs> I've said it before, most everybody else in the world won't know. But when you uh, leave for work of the day, how you're bouncing right out of the house, nobody understands why. Because you've learned how to shave with a straight razor or shave it. And that good shave that you just got, or great shave, that awesome shave. Starting to learn how to master to shave with one of these. It's a, it's a different feeling. Different feeling when you learn how to shave with one of these. To me, it takes a certain amount of focus, dedication, being determined that this is what you want to do. I think it's great. I watch many videos, straight razors. And a lot of the technique that you learn from a straight razor can be applied to a shave head. To me, it's just awesome. Not saying you can't get a good shave from a DE, because you can, but the, the experience is just so much different. Very much different. Like I say, for me, smile, got a good shave. With a shave it.
probably didn't notice it, but that is one thing. Yeah, it's it's a little different when you're shaving without a camera and you're shaving with a camera, especially talking, because I normally don't talk to myself. Believe it or not, got a little bit of a sting right there, and that's because of that angle that I was approaching with just a little bit off right there. Probably can't really see it. This is normal for me. This is this the first time you've seen me shave? These spots are normal. It's not that I got a bad shave. It's just it gets that way. Heck, it gets that way late in the evening. And just, you know, it'll appear that way. Witch Hazel. Humphreys. This one here is the, it says that it's organic. 100% 100 natural astringent. Uh, I think I do have uh, some toner from them also. Has some moisturizing properties to it, in other words. And I might opt to start using it because uh, here already the uh, humidity is outside of the rain, but before we got the rain, the humidity was kind of low. Face seems to get a little dry. I do put the witch hazel on my head. It kind of helps to <laughs> help skin there. It doesn't get a whole lot of cover, as if I, you know, would have any hair. This uh, aftershave, when I first got it, smelled it. It's just, it's hard to describe. I'll put the uh, scent profile. down below if you never uh, I do remember one of the base notes sandalwood I do remember that now one of them I think the middle is a lily of the valley if I remember correctly this is good stuff I have Uncle Walter also. I think I'm going to save it for a video also because there's a, it's very unique uh, container. Uh, you, you don't get the 8.4 ounces of soap, in other words, packed to the hilt with soap. So you get part of the uh, of the soap container. There's a tray that's inside, and inside that little tray is your scoop for your for your soap if you're going to bowl lather great idea so not, not only if, if you're like traveling you got your scoop right there with you all contained in with your soap oh so once again TFS is what we used this is 70th, 70th anniversary and I believe there's two different scents of the 70th anniversary if I remember correctly here's my bowl still got plenty of lather all of it whipped up with a horsehair brush via lung I think that's how you pronounce it. Not real good at pronouncing some of this. Allen block complete with rubber band. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Humphreys Witch Hazel. Shaver of the Day was the Crown King. This is the Tallywood, Tallywood version. I like these wood scales. Pretty nice. Once again, it'll take a full DE blade, or you can use a half blade, and I've got a half blade in it, Permasharp. First time use. When it comes to these half blades, I typically use them one time and then let them go. And I have it warmed up in my uh, trusty shave mug here. It's a pretty heavy weight. The company that made this uh, went out of business in 1950, so it's at least that old. Everybody. Have a good time around Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Smooth shaves.